up guys how's it going so last year i decided to get myself a crossbow and i decided on getting a barnett whitetail hunter str i really enjoy it um, it's been fun to shoot i have not gotten a deer with it yet but i'm uh, hoping to change that this year after reading the reviews one thing that people had some issues with was the trigger mechanism that keeps you from dry firing the bow while it does help with safety it really kind of limits you from being able to decock the crossbow. That's one thing that I remember about the crossbows in the past was that you had the ability to basically pull the trigger and let the string down. Now then they've come out with this dry fire mechanism that basically keeps it from firing unless there's a bolt in the bow. So I looked at some videos on YouTube and tried to figure out what the methodology was to decock the crossbow. If you go back and you look at the official Barnett video, what they're showing you is that it basically has to be shot in order to release the tension and get the arrow out. Basically what they're telling you is the only way to decock it is to shoot it. Well, I really don't want to put that much stress on the string because, I mean, obviously, you know, the more that you shoot it, the more it's going to weaken those strings. So I would rather find a way to release that tension without having to just fire the thing. So Barnett's got two different types of decocking bolts and one of them is like this about a 28 inch bolt and it's got this little rubber piece on the end of it so basically if you're up in a tree stand you can shoot it it goes down into the ground and hits the ground bounces up and then that releases the tension so that's one way and then the other method is this little bolt right here, this is the EVAC decocking bolt. These you can get for maybe 10 bucks at Field and Stream or 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll try and put a link in the description for these. Basically, these come in, I think it's a five pack, something like that. You just insert one of these and shoot this into a tree or into the ground. Um, these are considered kind of a one and done situation. I think they're pretty much just plastic. So you've got the two types of bolts and then you've got the little small target that they make. Now looking at the reviews and everything, it's supposed to be made where it's small enough that you can carry it with you and basically uh, once you get done hunting you just set that up and shoot into the target and take it home with you. So that methodology really seems like a lot of work. Um, I really don't want to have to bring an extra target with me when I go hunting. There's a lot that could go wrong with that. And on top of that, I mean, who's going to carry a target with them to go deer hunting? I mean, it's just, you're not going to do it. So I think there's a video where a guy uses an actual arrow and takes the arrow, puts it in there, takes the safety off, takes the arrow out, and then is able to pull the trigger and let the crossbow down. One of the things that I've seen with some of the other crossbows, you know, you look at the center point sniper, uh, some of these other types, they don't have this same trigger mechanism that Barnett has. So the only way that you're going to release that tension is to have a bolt in there. So I really feel like there's a lot of people that have been kind of turned off from Barnett because they look at that and they say, well, I mean, I don't want to have to go through all this trouble with this little trigger mechanism. Seeing that and seeing these other ways to decock the crossbow, I really just got to looking at it and trying to think, you know, there's got to be some other way to do this. So what I found is you can take these bolts that Barnett already makes and all you've got to do is place that in there just like you would a regular bolt and that will allow you to take the safety off, pull the trigger, and let it down. All right, so basically you just take your string, hook it into your string of your crossbow, all right? going to take this little arrow and stick that in there. So here, 
got one side and the string. Just pulling it to one side. Alright, so it's on safe now. In order to do this, you have to take it off safe. So, you just want to keep this back. The main thing, full time, you just want to keep this back and keep the tension on this. So, keep the tension, take it off safe. Pull the trigger. all it is. One thing that I would probably recommend is try and rest it at a bit of an angle because I mean obviously there is an arrow in there and I wouldn't do this like you normally do because it is the arrow is going to drop once you pull the trigger so and you just let it off just like that. So. Personally, I just feel like this is a much safer way to decock your crossbow rather than forcing yourself to have no other option but to fire it. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, uh, drop it in the comment box and just make sure to be safe when you're doing this. Um, I mean, anytime you're messing with a crossbow, just always remember to be safe. Um, definitely try and practice doing this before you go hunting just so that you get a feel for it and just always remember to keep your string back keep the tension where it needs to be I mean just like when you're shooting it you know make sure everything's set and you're good to go before you pull the trigger so I've got some other videos on this crossbow I'll try and put a link to those somewhere up here and uh, you can go check those out so if you haven't already make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and uh, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one Thank mm -hmm. you.